How's it going guys? I'm EC from ECTV and today I'm going to be doing a video that's a bit different from what I usually do and that's because this is actually a school project. So back in May, which is last month as of the uploading of this video, my 8th grade language arts teacher made us pick an author to write about and the author that I chose was a woman by the name of Ayn Rand. So the teacher had us pick something to let our classmates know some information on our author. Some of these things were a slideshow presentation, a poster, an ad, a bulletin board, and a video documentary. I chose to go with a YouTube video since I kinda need a bit more practice with voiceovers and stuff like that. I mean, my editing is on fleek for the most part, but my voiceovers kinda sound slightly off in my honest opinion, so that's something I'm trying to work on. So with that all said, and without further ado, let's get right into this video. <laughs> Ayn Rand is an author, philosopher, playwright, and screenwriter who was born into a wealthy Jewish family in what is now St. Petersburg, Russia, on February 2nd, 1905. The young Ayn Rand grew up during a time of civil unrest in Russia, and when she was about the age of 12 in 1917, she and her family fled to Crimea. Not long after that, the Bolshevik party seized control of Russia, and her father's pharmacy was confiscated by the government. As a result of this, the once affluent family was plunged into poverty. Although this may be one of Ayn Rand's greatest curses, even leading to depression later in life, it is also a blessing in disguise. Growing up during this period of turmoil in Russian history served as inspiration for some of her stories. One in particular being No, a story about a young Russian girl growing up in the midst of the Bolshevik uprising. A story which is based upon, you guessed it, Ayn Rand's own childhood experiences. It was a rather detailed short story about what life was like in the weeks leading up to the events of the October Revolution and the overthrow of Tsar Nicholas II. Her family returned to Russia and the young Miss Rand, having finished high school, went to the University of Petrograd and graduated in 1924 with increased knowledge in history, philosophy, and literature. Shortly after her graduation, Miss Rand went to the United States telling Russian authorities that she would only be traveling there temporarily, but in reality she had no ambition of coming back. She just so happened to land right in the middle of the Roaring Twenties when she started writing her stories. Here, she wrote many novels and short stories, and also married a famous actor by the name of Frank O'Connor. In 1938 she wrote Anthem, a rather short novel that has to top the list of my favorite books as of now. In Anthem, the main character grows up in a backwards, collectivist society in the distant future. In this society, all spirit of individualism has been removed and saying words such as I or me result in the criminal being burnt alive. The main character, who is named from birth as Equality 72521, finds the remains of present day civilization and uses the remains to reinvent the light bulb. To his surprise, his invention is shunned by the town government, as it is invented by one man and not many. Because of this, he flees town to live in a long, abandoned house with his lover and they live happily ever after. Ayn Rand didn't become popular until a few years after in 1943 when her book The Fountainhead was published. When The Fountainhead was published, it vastly increased Ayn Rand's popularity upon the American public, and it boosted her from an author to a symbol of individualism an apostle of self-worth, if you will. The Fountainhead sold so well, in fact, that Hollywood released a motion picture on it in 1948. She continued to write books, and even some more hard hitters such as Atlas Shrugged until later on in her life when she started to focus more on teaching people about individualism. On March 6th, 1982, she died in New York City, but her legacy lives on not only in her writings, but also in the minds of her followers. They carry her philosophy with them, which goes to show that ideas can long outlive their creators, but only if they are shared. Ayn Rand was not only an author and a philosopher, but she also wrote plays and movies as well. She truly was a woman who had a lot to do, but she did those things well, and those are the things about her that deserve recognition. <laughs> So guys, that was basically my school report. Hopefully you learned something from this. 
And if you did, then don't forget to leave a like. And if you want to see content about video games, trends, opinions, and stuff like that, then don't forget to subscribe as well. With that all said and done, have a great day. I wish you all the best. And until next time, I'm EC from ECTV. Out. And peace.